Hey guys, welcome to the video. I uh, thought I'd just chuck up a hobby update video as I've kind of been away from the channel for a few weeks. And to be honest, I'm probably going to be away for an, uh, a couple more weeks, if not up to a month. Just I've got a really busy Christmas and January coming up soon. So um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm struggling to kind of get into the hobby at the moment. I've had a long break from painting and doing anything. Um, so that's kind of why I haven't really been doing videos, but I thought I'd just chuck something up. Um, as you can kind of see in the video uh, at the moment, I've got some um, my new project sort of finished and painted, and that's some um, 15 mil World War II American Airborne. And um, these are from Battlefront Miniatures, so the Flames of War range. Um, I base them up differently to how they normally do it because I'm going to be using these for a skirmish style game rather than a larger game like Flames of War. Um, I also have some American Airborne from Forged um, Forged in Battle. I think that's it. Yeah, um, which are really nice range as well, and they they work quite well, I think, for the uh, Flames of War range. They they seem to scale quite well, um, so which is quite nice. And also, I've got some other projects I'll, I'll be doing as well. But I'm going to do a video after Christmas, um, just going through what that's going to be. Um, let's go through kind of what I've got here, I guess. So, like I said, it, this is the Flames of War set, some from Battlefront Miniatures. Um, what I've got here is a uh, I guess I was I was going to say early war, um, airborne plat uh, platoon, but I guess it's it is late war but early war for where, the American airborne. So um, this is um, I'm basing this off Easy Company, for the 506th, uh, 101st Airborne Division. So um, yeah, like I said, this is a platoon. I've actually got the whole company in miniature form. Um, I'm just painting up the last platoon and the headquarter section. So for now we've just got this platoon plus another one I've painted up which is from Forge and Battle Miniatures. Um, so early war they ran two squads um, with a command plus a mortar team to the platoon. So that's obviously what I've got shown here. I've got eight riflemen and an MG team. So the I think it's just a 30 cal Browning they use for the LMGs. And they have a bazooka team as well attached to the platoon. Plus, obviously, the two officers in front there. Um, I think later, when they kind of went to like, op, like Market Garden and stuff, they actually bumped them up to three squads, so the actual platoon got larger. But for D-Day, which I'm sort of basing this around, they were um, two squads. So that's what I've done. Um, I've kind of used the structure from the Chain of Command rule rule set which I'm looking to play so that's what this is force is based off so I'm not ha sure how historically accurate the numbers are but I'm just going from their rule book so yeah um got a mate who's just started some Germans I've also bought some Germans for another mate who I'm going to paint up for so we should be able to do some games um which I'm looking forward to so this is kind of all I've really been doing um I have finished off my Star Wars, Le Star Wars Legion actually which I probably should do a video on and show show that because um i'm quite chuffed how they turned out but apart from that yeah i've been away from it really i haven't really been in the mood to do much so um yeah but i guess i'll just slowly truck on i've kind of made myself do a bit of painting tonight as um i've had some miniatures waiting to be washed for like what feels like two weeks so i've actually got on and done that tonight so they can just quickly be highlighted and varnished and then they're done and that finishes off my airborne platoon uh, airborne company should i say um so yeah um i'll leave the video there so i just wanted to check in really um sorry for not doing much content but because i just kind of up and down with the hobby at the moment so i either feel really up for it or just i leave it alone for quite a while but um i've got a lot of goodies coming christmas um mainly because i bought them to then give to my wife for her to wrap and then to give back to me so I'm um, looking forward to that and I'll do a video, like I said, once that's um, once Christmas out of the way. Um, I'm going on holiday after Christmas as well, so it's going to be a bit of a pause then. Also, I'm having a kitchen fitted in like, Jan meant to be in January, so my life's going to be upside down for a bit um, whilst we're trying to figure all that out. And also, I'm going to be moving out of my hobby room into a different room, so um, even more disruption. So, But I'll try to do videos when I can. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I'll just waffle a voice. So um, thanks, guys, for, for watching. Thanks for the support on the channel as well. We've got a really great subscriber count at the moment, which is awesome. Um, it'd be great to try hit that 1,000 at some point. So I guess I just need to get some content released. But, um, yeah, so uh, thanks, everybody, and uh, keep an eye out for any videos I do in the future.
Cheers, guys.